So good morning, fellow ticket holders. Today two at Carowinds. Let's go on back inside. So another easy entry into the park this morning. Definitely yeah. seems like more people are here early today than yesterday. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're just sitting here waiting for the 11 o'clock. Uh, we did get the fast lane again for today. So that way we can just make our way through these other rides today. And we're gonna start with one that's not in the fast lane, but should be fun is Woodstock Express. It's their uh, family wooden coaster. So we will catch up with you that when the park actually opens. So Woodstock Express is back here in Camp Snoopy. This is the best themed Camp Snoopy that I've seen or the area with peanuts that I've ever seen. It's really cool back here. You got the Woodstocks holding the lantern. How are you doing today? You doing good? You hanging out here with Woodstock and Snoopy and the rest of the Peanuts gang? All right, have a good one. Woodstock Express. So we got the ride, first ride on Woodstock Express this morning. What'd you think? It was a fun little ride. It's a great ride for beginners, for little kids. Uh, there, there was two uh, pops of ejector airtime. It was really fun. Yeah, we were in the back. Uh, couldn't sit side by side. The trains are small, but again, this is a kitty family coaster. We really enjoy these old little wooden coasters. All right, so we're gonna continue on. Not sure where we're gonna go next, but we'll see. So they do have one more kitty coaster back here called Wilderness Run, I think is what it's called. And we're gonna see if they'll let us ride it. So unfortunately, they won't let us ride Wilderness Run because we don't have a kid with us. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so Gotta Carol, respect the rules. But we figured we'd ask, since there was nobody back here, we didn't want to. We don't normally try to do the kitty coasters because we don't want to take up the space for the families and the kids. But it was empty, so I thought I'd ask, and they said no, which is fine. So I think we're gonna head over to the other one that's not part of Fast Lane. That's a uh, ricochet. ricochet. That's their mouse coaster. So the Carolina Sky Tower is open today. That's our observatory tower, kind of like the Kisses Tower at Hershey Park. And so we're going to go ahead and do it while it's open. All right. And it's fast lane. Now you got to be two. a nice view up there. Yeah, that was a really nice uh, tower, uh, observation tower. I wish we could have heard the narration, but being around towards the beginning there, you couldn't really hear it, but that's okay. The view is really nice. Yeah. All right, so I think before we make it over to Ricochet, I'm going to go ahead and do Nighthawk. 
This is a Vacoma Flyer like uh, Batwing at Six Flags America. Uh, I hear this one's supposed to be more rough, which I don't know how that can happen, but this one looks like it runs more consistent than the one at Six Flags. So uh, I will see you when I get back. We'll see how this goes. So I just got off a of Nighthawk. Uh, that was one long line. So even though we had the fast lane, Vanessa said it was still about a half hour wait that it was there. And that's just due to the nature of these and how slow the load times and everything are. I guess I'm going to be with uh, in the minority that I think that Batwing and Six Flags America is not as good as this one. This one I think is better. I'm still not a fan of these Vacoma Flyers. There's only two left in the world. And so I've done both of these credits. So I think that's an achievement and I think that's cool. I just don't like the padded restraints that you have and then the, the restraints that go between your legs, they actually stop on this one. You can't staple yourself in. So when you have that room in between, it kind of keeps you loose. But overall, it's an okay coaster. I came off feeling kind of eh. So I do have to take some time right now. I'm just gonna rest and then we'll move on. So again, done it, but that's it. Do not want to ride this coaster apparently after you've eaten in the last few hours yeah so when you finally stop like i felt like my stomach was up in my throat um luckily when you end the area is covered and they got fans blowing on you to kind of cool you down so i did like that fact unlike six flags america where you're just sitting in the sun it's also really pretty because it goes over the water yeah all right so we may make our way towards ricochet now but i'm going to take a little rest here get some water and then we'll move on ricochet their mouse coaster. So not really much to say about Ricochet, it's a mouse. Kind of a rough one. Yeah, it's not my favorite one. Yeah, uh, it's the same type as Goofy Sky Coaster of our Disney's California Adventure, which it's more smooth than this, but uh, yeah, not much to say. It's a mouse. So I think at this point, I think it's lunchtime. What do you think? Yeah. So I think we're gonna go check out Harmony Hall. They have some barbecue over there that we can eat, so we'll go check that out. So for lunch today from Harmony Hall, we got the brisket sandwich, got a side of mac and cheese, some broccoli salad, and some water. And Vanessa just got the brisket by itself. Looks really good and smells really good. So the brisket here at Harmony Hall was fantastic. Really enjoyed that sandwich. The mac and cheese, it was really creamy and really good. And I really enjoyed the broccoli salad. Um, I'm a fan of broccoli salad and this one was great. I loved having the raisins in it and everything. Uh, definitely give Harmony Hall's barbecue a thumbs up. And what did you think of the brisket? The brisket was really good. I really enjoyed it. So we really enjoy it. They have these rocking chairs everywhere, as well as lots of covered seating and stuff, which is really nice to see in a park. Nice places to relax in the shade. And our view from our rocking chairs isn't too bad either. This is on the porch at Harmony Hall. So because we're right here next to Harmony Hall Intimidator, we're gonna get our first free ride for today on Intimidator. We're gonna to try to get in the back row.
So I really enjoyed that re-ride later in the day now and in that back wing yes, coaster. That was great. that back row was fantastic. She was hauling and you feel the pull when she goes over the hills. Yep, so that's definitely a back uh, back row B&M Hyper, unlike some of the others where you want to be in the front row. Definitely in the back row. Yeah. I think it was just as good as um, Diamond back there at uh, Kings Island. Really enjoyed that one. So glad that we got the re-ride on it today. All right, up next will be Carolina Cyclone, an Aero Custom Looper. All right, so Carolina Cyclone, what'd you think? She's an aero looper. <laughs> One and done for us, and I'm glad I got to ride her. <sighs> she banged my head up a little bit, but it yeah. was a small layout. Yeah, I think this is the perfect size for one of these. Um, I liked it better than Anaconda at King's Dominion. Mm -hmm. I do enjoy Loch Ness Monster at Busch Gardens, but it has its slow moments. This one has the perfect amount of stuff and is the right length. So I really like this one. I guess a thumbs up for an aero looper. Yeah. All right, before we leave today, there are two re-rides that we need to do. Number one, Afterburn. Finally, Hurler. Just kidding, we can't leave the park without one more ride on Fury 325. Where each day's a holiday, every day is Saturday. Drift with the breeze, drift with the breeze, on never ends. As I walk down the state line between North and South Carolina, that'll conclude our day and our second day here at Carowinds. So until next time, be, be safe, safe, be kind, kind and adventure, adventure on. on. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed to our channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below.